Derek Crozier and I'm the owner of Bonobo Espresso in Bank Street in Adelaide. I love coffee because it's very versatile. There's so many different avenues you can take in the industry, for example. You can roast coffee, you can brew coffee, be a barista, um, you know, you can uh, talk about coffee, uh, you know, there's competitions, there's so many aspects. And coffee itself has such a diversity. There's so many different avenues down coffee and uh, uh, that's what makes it exciting. With, with Chinese, with Mandarin, the pictures, uh, you know, these images are ancient. They are such an old language, you know? Uh, I think it's beautiful. I love it. I know it's like a newspaper print. I know it's like, it's not brushstroke, but I, I wanted it very sharp, precise because that's what coffee's like, very sharp and precise, very perfect, you know? My name's Caitlin, I'm 22, and I'm working in a cafe while studying full-time. I've definitely learned a lot through Derek, and I, I can say that I've never actually enjoyed working in coffee as much as I have from working here with Derek. He's taught me a lot, and I'm very happy to be here. So I used to have a film production business and I used to be involved in film, uh, but specialising in filming coffee. So there's a niche market at the moment in Australia for uh, being a specialist in maybe a certain area and mine was being passionate about coffee, um, also being passionate about film production and I was very lucky that those two passions joined forces and I got to do both. So I did filming uh, of like the barista competitions that happen all around Australia. Um, I filmed, uh, you know, things like um, big businesses, like am I allowed to say McDonald's and Pura Milk? Uh, big companies needed coffee related filming done for promotional material. And that's what I used to specialize in. I was in film production before and the money was up and down, so some months were better than others. Uh, not like I want to put any daunting <laughs> realities on the industry, um, but it was very uh, up and down financially and I wanted more stability. I met a beautiful girl that I'd love to settle down with and I thought if we want to have a family one day, uh, it would be good to have a more uh, secure income coming through. But also, everywhere I ever worked as a barista in the past, customers would always ask me if it was my cafe, which it wasn't. I was always over, uh, an employee at a cafe. Um, but because so many customers always assumed that I, I owned the cafe and operated it, I thought I must be the perfect fit for my own cafe. Um, you know, I think people could tell that I was very passionate about my job, and so I think uh, that was the best thing to do with this place. So I named the cafe after a type of ape called the bonobo. Um, some people call it a chimpanzee, I think technically it's an ape. Um, and they're very kind natured and uh, they're very, um, they're 98.7% of human DNA. So being very close to human, I figured that's how we feel in the morning before a coffee, uh, nearly human. So uh, that's why I chose the name bonobo espresso for my cafe. With the customers, it was the customer service in the whole industry. So I did a lot of research before opening up my coffee shop. And a big thing I heard was um, customer service was lacking in a lot of areas. So coffee might be good, but the customer service was very blocked off from the customer. So I paid a lot more attention to that detail. I made sure that the customers knew that I was very grateful for them coming in and that I wouldn't be here with a job without the customers. They pay my wages and uh, they make the business. Definitely like his beans and his attitude. Very friendly man. It's the environment. 
uh, very personalised and it feels real homely when you come to Derek or Bonobos. Um, other coffee places are good too. Um, depends, like I'll go over there in the mornings and I'll come here in the afternoon. You've got your regiment. My boss Derek, he puts in 100% with all of his customers and that's one thing that I noticed that's different between other bosses that I've had before is that um, my other bosses will hang in the back and they, they will let their staff do the work whereas Derek is always out the front making relationships with his customers. There was a lot of obstacles, like I said, hardest thing I've ever done. So I had a lot of experience in the industry and I had a lot of experience helping other people open up their own cafe and uh, uh, learn how to operate the cafe, procedures, training. Um, but there was a lot of the back end stuff I didn't know about, how to deal with a lease or how to deal with uh, the council or certain requirements that are needed on the business side of things. Um, so it was very hard to do this, the hardest thing I've ever done, but very rewarding at the same time. For the future of my coffee shop and hopefully the industry is to open up more um, of my coffee shops, more bonobo espressos, uh, that would be good. Um, but I, for a goal for the industry, the coffee industry as a whole, I hope that everyone's knowledge, the consumer improves. The more the consumer knows about coffee, the more that forces the industry to improve and change. You know, for example, um, a lot of specialty coffee shops will weigh all their shots for consistency when it comes to preparing an espresso. Um, not everyone does that, but I'm starting to see more places that do it, which tells me that uh, the knowledge is increasing, which means then the uh, production is, is increasing as well. So as a goal for the my business, it would be great to expand and open up more coffee shops because it's been... Um, I feel that now I know what I'm doing with the first one, I'm ready for the second one. But then for the industry, I hope that uh, everyone's knowledge improves and therefore it doesn't matter where you go to get coffee, you should be getting a good, consistent, good quality product.